Inside this storage unit, Emmanuel Yancey has a story to tell. So when I saw this, I said, this is powerful, and I, and I couldn't find her anywhere. I started researching, I can't, so her story's not told. The story of a likely trailblazing black woman. Mrs. E.K. Wilson right there. A business owner in 1949, running her barber shop for nearly five decades in an industry dominated by men. She was a master barber. And Yancey says a big part of history. For us to just be business owners, I believe is significant. But then when you have a woman business owner in the 40s, and then in an all-male occupation, I think that is very significant to history. During a bidding war, Yancey won the storage unit for a little less than $500. This barber's chair from E.K. Wilson, one of the first things he noticed. Then as he dug a little deeper. This program here is in, in beautiful condition. A program for a Women's Day event, showing the picture of Mrs. Martin Luther King Jr. She was the guest speaker. This was exciting. This was really exciting to me because not only uh, was Miss E.K. Wilson important, I believe, but the people that she knew. Some other unknown treasures, a picture of Dr. King himself. This picture I have not been able to find anywhere. Piles of jewelry and even sports memorabilia. Muhammad Ali, Buster Douglas. Yancey plans on selling most of his historical finds, using the money to keep paying it forward through his nonprofit, Emmanuel's Hope Foundation. I want to shine a light on the needs of our seniors in the community. What started as a gesture to help his grandmother, Yancey now gives his time to help other seniors, financially or physically unable to keep up with their lawns. It's been difficult for a lot of our seniors, and they're an underserved community, and I want to give them that feeling that my grandmother had when uh, she would look on the lawn and say, wow, this is beautiful. As far as some of the nostalgia in his storage unit, he's still figuring out what to sell. And when asked how much it all might be worth. Oh, I would say it's priceless. It's hard to put a value on it. In Portsmouth, Antoinette Elbel, News 3.